Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props. Today we're going to be working on my favorite watchman's uh, weapon, maybe not weapon, sometimes, is grappling gun. That's right, we're working on Rorschach's grappling gun. Okay, so a while back, Jonathan uh, Bowen from Corsic Props contacted me. All his contact information is below. Wanted to do a collaboration was wondering if I was interested in some type of a file, what, what I was I looking to do. And I was thinking about a Rorschach cosplay, and this is the, the prop you need, uh, other than the purple pants, which are on the, on the way, because I'm going to do a full Rorschach cosplay. Um, and he uh, modeled this after a bunch of references I gave him, and it turned out so awesome. All his contact information is below in the description. And if you want this file, you can go to my... Patreon page, that's in the description, and get that over there. So uh, without further ado, let's go down to the workshop and put this guy together. Okay, so this was a great print. It was super easy to print and really easy to put together. So I decided to paint the handle first, and of course this is supposed to be wood. So what you want to do is you want to use different types of brown, streak it in, do a little dry brushing. I like to do this all when it's wet so everything slides around. And then I let, will let it dry and do some more sort of dry brushing to get that sort of grain feel to it. And then hit it with a matte uh, finish because, you know, wood is it can be shiny, I guess. But I doubt Rorschach has a very shiny handle on his gun because he's a fairly uh, filthy character. So I gouged out some of the things where paint ended up, put a copious amount of glue like I always do in the barrel area, and uh, give it a little bit of pressure so it'll hold in, and put the little tube thing in the back. I, I just, I'm digging the style of this thing. So again, lots of glue. I always like to use lots of glue. And slide the handle in the trigger goes on the handle you can see there's a little bit of thing where some paint pulled off i'll fix later and then we're going to put the trigger on again there aren't a lot of parts to this so again it was a fun build put this little guy on here i cannot remember what this is uh, but it looks awesome <laughs> and then the cat piece to the grappling gun and i used some different colors here because when i looked at some of the photos it looked like the sort of little knobby end and the ends of the grappling hooks were a darker color as long as and that um thing on the bottom so i went ahead and did that and then i decided i want these grappling hooks to open a little bit so all i did was drill a hole through using a, a plastic drill bit for you know it's for plastics the drill bit wasn't plastic but it was for plastics and that allowed me to uh, open and close this. I used some self, uh, some locking nuts, and now I can simply just pop this open or closed, and there we go. It, it'll look like a grappling gun. Now, again, we're talking about Rorschach, and this gun is way too clean. So now we get to do my favorite part. Uh, well, one of my favorite parts, which is weathering. So again, when you're weathering, you're just using browns and blacks and maybe some of the little shades and water and thinking, where would this gun get dirt? It would get it in the cracks. It would get it in the crevices where your hand is. Uh, and then I wanted to add some black in here. And again, I thought that the, um, the grain, uh, I needed to accentuate it more. So I pretty much went over the handle with black so that it would get in the grooves and cracks to really make that, uh, that definition come out. And here it is, all weathered and worn looking and super happy with it. I mean, this looks so, so good. Uh, the, the grain that is in the model is fantastic. And just super happy with it. Again, you can just simply close it. Now, I am working on a whole Rorschach uh, cosplay. I'm not sure when it'll be done, but this is a great piece for that cosplay. Okay, so as you saw, it was a pretty easy build. It printed very easily. I didn't have a problem with anything. Um, the paints were easy to find. I had them right downstairs. It was like a copper and some silver and some graphite. Look in the description for to the uh, 3D Printed Props Gear.com. Find all the paints and the different colors I used to make it. And of course, you can get the file over the Patreon page. Turned out really great. I'm so excited about this. I'm glad I went a little bit farther and just drilled this out so this thing opens up now. Um, 
so happy with this. So happy with this build. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, sorry it took so long to put this thing together, but it is just a fantastic, fantastic prop. Again, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, Watchmen is an amazing comic and one of my favorites. I picked it off the shelf, right, you know, when it came out. Uh, so this is a really exciting thing to have. Um, and I can't wait to finish the full cosplay. So take it easy, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, like and subscribe if you could. Click on the little bell for the next video. And uh, more Ro uh, Rorschach stuff uh, coming out uh, in the months ahead. All right. Well, thanks a lot. Take it easy. And I'll see you in the next video.